Okay, folks, I hear you. I hear you. I understand there is a new show called Jellystone. And it has all the Hanna-Barbera characters, including the Banana Splits. Okay, I know. I, I already seen some of the episodes with the Banana Splits in them. Okay, so I already know about it. So please, stop telling me about it in the comments because I already know. And if I hear that in the comments one more time, I'm gonna go bananas. So, I guess I ought to just make a quick video talking about my thoughts of the banana splits in this new show called Jellystone. Which is on HBO Max, by the way. So, the show is about all Hanna-Barbera characters living in this town called Jellystone, which is a very created name. And while some of the characters are still the same, some of them are not. Like, some of the more popular ones, like Yoki Bear, are still the same. However, there's some like Jabberjaw, who is... A girl now? I mean, I'm not saying that as a bad thing, but they do know that Jabberjaw is a boy, right? Also, I'm not really a big fan of this animation. I mean, especially on some of the characters like Yogi. I know it's pop. I think I heard it was probably like from the same people behind Chowder, but I don't know for sure. But what about the banana splits? How did they roll in this? Well, instead of being killer robots like in the movie, instead they are gangsters, which honestly, I can buy. I mean, if you're going to make them, like, villains, then I honestly think having them be, like, gangsters is the best way to put them. Honestly, I'm okay with them being gangsters in this. I mean, it's a lot more better than them being robots that attack people. Also, if you look at them closely, especially Snorky, you'll see that they're kind of more resemblant to the Season 1 version of the Banana Splits. And while the voices don't match up perfectly, especially kind of droopers, come to think of it, Bingo doesn't even talk that much. And, well, not Snorky, because he just makes, like, honky noises. It's mostly just Flegel or Drooper who are talking the most. And while their voices do sound a bit awkward, especially for longtime Banana Split fans, I do still kind of see it kind of match up with this style of cartoon here. And to be honest, I actually like the style of the Banana Splits here. I mean, like I said before, I'm not really a big fan of all the designs in this show, but mostly the Banana Splits, I think they kind of done right. So, yeah. While this isn't really the most perfect Banana Splits comeback, I still think it's a more decent way of a comeback than, say, the movie. And honestly, I think this is kind of like an apology for those Banana Splits fans who were upset with the movie. Like, yeah, sorry about that. Here, how about this? Instead of being robots, we'll just make them gangsters. Like, I don't mind if you're going to make them, like, villains, as long as you make them, like, good villains, like gangsters. So that was clever of them to do. So, bottom line, I actually do like the Banana Splits in this show. The designs are pretty decent. While the character voices don't usually match up, you can tell they're trying. And honestly, if more episodes come out, I can't wait to see them more in the future. So, good luck to the Banana Splits and Jellystone Park. Alright, there you go. Those were my thoughts about it, okay? I got my own review out, so now can we please stop talking about it in the comments? I swear to gosh.